What's up, everybody? Ben Rassi here for Odd Chopper, bringing you all things college basketball. The madness is here. It's March 1st. It is March 1st, Wednesday, of course, and we kick off one of the best months of the sports calendar with more college basketball. It's not the tournament just yet, but we're pretty close. Regular season is closing for big-name schools. Conference tournaments has begun for little schools, and we're going to hear to break down. We're going to pick a game. Try to put one on the board. This is what I do each and every day. If you're just joining us for the first time here at Odd Chopper, welcome aboard. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Yesterday, I did not have one of these videos. We had a clean sweep last week on this video. I was doing a parlay video yesterday. That did not hit. So we need a bounce back. Even though it's not this video, I'm going to count it. Why not? Let's get back in the win column with a pick today. One other, the easiest way to get in the win column, if you don't play on DraftKings Sportsbook, is bet five, win 150 on any sport. Link in the description below. Simple. Go down there, deposit five bucks, put on a pregame money line that has to win, take the heaviest favorite in college basketball if and when they win. If you did it yesterday, we talked about Dayton, you made $150 off that. It's that simple. Couldn't encourage it more. It got to be 21 plus. Be responsible. If a gambling problem, call 1 800 Gambler. Vanderbilt, Kentucky. Kentucky is a, a, not a bad candidate, minus 570. I'll lay the 10 points though for the real world here. Minus 10, minus 110. Not a weird game, but an interesting game in terms of where the evolution of these teams. So Vanderbilt, they're not a great squad. That's putting it even generously. They're 16 and 13. They made some real strides, though. I have to give them credit. They're a better team than they were at the beginning of the year. And they've played well recently. They've won six of seven, including a pair of road games. They went to Florida and won. They went to South Carolina and won. They did lose at LSU, which is not great. Uh but they've looked pretty good. They knocked off Tennessee. They're, they're doing some things here. When you dig into the numbers, it's not a team that jumps off the page. 72 points per game, 33% from three. I worry about them in the rebounding uh, for this type of game. Uh, again, they've made strides. They're an improved team, but I still think they're towards the bottom of the SEC. You want to talk about made strides, improving Kentucky Wildcats. You may love them. You may hate them. You may not care about them. 20 and 9, this team has turned a corner. They've won four straight. They beat Tennessee by double digits at home. They won by eight points on the road in Florida. They held on against Mississippi State on the road. They won by 32 points the last time out versus Auburn at home. They are getting it. I know they're still missing Wheeler, but man, they've built something. And this team is starting to click at the right time. They played Vanderbilt already on the road. They beat him by 16. They only took two free throws in that game. To me, it actually looked like an outlier game uh, for several reasons. They still won by double digits. This is a team that averages 75 points per game, 37% from three. They're getting better, and that is the key. We know what you know Oscar Shibway is going to do on the inside. He's amazing. He's a walking double-double. Can they get some guys around him? Well, Reeves has really stepped up. That's kind of their next man, uh, 13 points per game, 42% from three. They've got a couple guys now that can shoot it on the outside, and that's really when I want to drill down into this game, talk about stylistic matchups. This is where I think we need to be living. So you've got a Vanderbilt team, again, that's playing good basketball. I still don't really believe they have a firm identity. Uh, they kind of just do what they do. Nothing jumps off the page. Not really a gimmick team by any stretch. They're just playing good ball. But into Rupp against that red-hot Kentucky team who's starting to shoot it better. Offensively, they've been extremely efficient. They obviously have an All-American big on the inside. I worry about Vanderbilt staying in this one. And although they've had this nice little streak, when you look at level of competition, there's a couple teams to Kentucky's level in there, but it's mostly taking advantage of maybe the bottom of this conference. And that's what I think Kentucky is going to do here. So although, again, we're not asking who's going to win the game, that would be a little easier. We're asking, is Kentucky going to win by 11 points or more? I'm going to say that, yes, that they complete the sweep in dominating fashion here. I think they're just going to kind of keep this run going. I love everything they're doing right now. The team is just clicking, and I want to buy right now on Kentucky. So for my one bet, put it on the board, the Kentucky Wildcats minus 10 at minus 110 on DraftKings. Before I get out of here, as always, if you have questions, you want more games, you want more action, you can always follow me at Twitter, JazzRazDFS, very easy. And you can always find me in Discord. Link is below. See all the familiar faces. We're hanging out, having a good time. Simple as that. It's just a fun community. We win together. We lose together. We complain together. So all the good things about betting uh, make it a community feel in there. But there you have it, friends. Wednesday in the books. I will not be doing this video for the next couple of days. I'm off to Florida 
getting a little rest and relaxation before the tournament. But don't worry, I will be back soon enough. Appreciate all you guys watching each and every day. Good luck. Enjoy all the games. And again, if you have questions, hit me up. Happy to help. Till next time, good luck, and I'll see you then.